hope everybody's good out there. We got another rainy day here. Uh, back up on the bounce around a little bit here and there, but we're back up on our patio job. Uh, that's a quick shot of it. We're almost done there. Um, a couple days left here, so it's been you know 90 degrees and drought all summer, and now it rains every other day. So, so we're actually up, uh, or I am actually up here uh, inside today in the basement, and we're going to run a little block um, in this old cistern, fill this wall in. Many many years ago, I built this is a base for a fireplace that's upstairs in the house. Um, I don't even remember when we did that, 2003, 4 maybe, so a while ago. Uh, but this was an old cistern, I just wanted to show you guys this. Uh, this house is probably early 1800s it was built. And <clears throat> so what they did, they bricked this old, let's see if we can get a shot here, this old, uh, Basically, a big cistern is a holding tank for water, and so they'd collect the rainwater, and uh, off off the house, you know, they collect it, put, pipe it into here, and then they'd have a source of, you know, source of water for their house. So this tank, it's snapped. I snapped all these brick off, cut them off clean there. Same thing on this side, um, but this came way out into into this room. You can see on the floor where the line uh, the owner poured a little concrete in here to try to help me out a little bit um, so that came way out and then they capped it with these big slabs of stone you can see that one's actually poured into when they built this addition the same year that we did the fireplace here they uh, poured right around this first rock here this cap rock but there's like three of them. There's that one. I don't know how good this is going. I guess you can see. Uh, there's this other big flat one that they got for them. I guess they got another one in the back there. And uh, so that's kind of kind of neat how they did that. So it's just a, you know, these are like wicked hard, like sewer brick would be now. You know, which is kind of irregular for way back in the day. A lot of times they were not quite that hard, but they used, they the little ex different clay blend or fired them different or whatever uh, to get them hard like that back then and uh, and then they parge them up with uh, parge them up with a couple layers of really rugged uh, Portland and uh, that seals it up so it's water waterproof and holds the water and uh, they found quite a bit of I guess over the years at some point there it turned into kind of a dump dump pit they found all these neat old bottles in there. Uh, I guess people just, you know, one owner or several owners or whatever over the years have just threw, threw the trash in there. So, let's see if we can get another shot of it and you can kind of see where it goes back in onto the house here. And, uh, yeah, we're just going to kind of, or I'm going to kind of, Fill this in here. I'll, it's not the. It's all stick work on the, on the love, but you can see maybe how to lay a few block. I'm gonna have to cut. Uh, it's gonna be seven courses high plus a cat block, four inch cat blocks over here. It's 60 inches, uh, give or take. 61 on this side, 60 on that side. But uh, I'm gonna try and I'll get. We'll run seven courses of block, and then shim up our caps and then mud top and bottom on the cap cap block up tight to the boulder to, or, or to this uh you know flat rock cap um so yeah there you go we'll put this down somewhere and see see if you can see anything so
Now these here, are, uh, like I said, this thing's like three quarters of an inch out of level from the side to the side, and that's just over four foot. So I'm gonna bury this one right down. It's probably not gonna be totally level, but we'll make it up on the next one. Uh, I kind of want to go with this side because that'll give me when I get to the top. <clears throat> it won't be super tight against this, and I'll be able to get kind of a little joint in the top too. So. When you're laying block and put your, you can obviously see this thing's way out of, you can see the bubble there is way, way out of level. So don't, I'm not going to really sweat it on this one. Like I said, we'll make it up on the next one. But you want to put your level on this way and plumb it. I have a line, I have a line marked on the floor there that's a straight edge off this wall. So we're going to come over, whatever I said, it's, three, it's, it's a little over four foot. I think it's, I think it's 4-4, four, four. Uh, and then running back into the area, we're gonna have, I'm going to have to kind of scribe a block and snap some bricks and fill in and whatever, whatever's got to happen there, so, so anyways, you want to level it first, then plumb it. Now, the thing, the thing with letting this block go at a level, right, the thing with letting this block go at a level this way, so this ends up, uh, is that this face of this isn't going to be plumb because obviously, even though the, the block aren't 100% square, but they're, you know, they should be close enough. Uh, so this is a square right angle right there. So if this sits down, this, uh, this edge here is not going to be plumb on this block. And we'll get, we'll, we'll catch it, you know, as long as I go off that bottom point where my mark is, which you can't probably see, it's dark, it's dark in here, but, uh, <clears throat> I'll plumb this edge as we go, you know, but this face, this face of this block is not going to be plumb. Lane black, take take a little like that, a little furrow on your like that. See that? You got your mud joints on there. The other thing I'm fighting on this is when they poured this concrete here. Um, it's good here, but they kind of missed it back here on the other on the back edge of the block. I'm right in the shadow there. Uh, so this ground tapers back that way and down, probably you know half inch, good half inch. So I'm trying to build, as you can see, the difference in the mud there. I'm trying to build this side up. The blocks are going to want to fall in that way, and. Uh, we're gonna kind of let them do whatever here on this first course, until we can get them, you know, somewhat straightened out.
Mud. Like this. Okay, get your mud on, uh, mud on your trowel there, like that. You can see that, just on the edge. And then, right there, just like that, right on the block. Okay, mud on the trowel, put it on this edge this time. Just like this. See that? Right on there. Next thing you want to do is next thing you want to do is range them. That means uh, even though they're on a line, they kind of move this way and that way. Take your level. Just kind of do this right here. And as you can see here, the uh, you have a little gap there. It's hitting here, hitting there. That one's pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. So. I'm just gonna give this thing a little tap right in here, straighten that gap out. So we're high. Like I told you it was gonna happen. This this end of that block, which is jammed right down onto the concrete there, is high by probably I don't know, half inch still. So, but we got a good, uh, good straight line, something to go off here. We're gonna have to fill that in. I gotta figure this out. This is that's four and a half, four and a half, five, five inches there. So we'll see how these block break. These are cheap Home Depot block. Uh, the other place where I usually get them, Mason Yard. Is Clothes the other day there. I went and got them the other day because I knew it was going to rain today. The day after Thanksgiving, they took the day off, so I had to go to Home Depot. It's just like, you know, you're in there for an hour trying to get 30 blocks. So. And they're not, the, they're, they're a little different. I mean, they're all right. They're good block, but they're not exactly the same. Sometimes they don't break as, sometimes they don't break as much. A four inch piece, take your thing, make a mark on here. Four inch, four inch. Four inch, four inch. That'll, that, it's, it's really like five inches there, so this will let for a uh, little joint on either side. chisel and we're gonna lightly score both flat sides we could hammer cut this too I'll show you that and we'll do it with the chisel first and then the next one we'll hammer cut and see which one comes out better uh, but anyway so you want to lightly score this all the way around and you can hear that pitch change already it may be good and it may be bad. You hear that as it's getting deeper, the pitch of it's changing. So that means it's cracking. So then I tip, take it up and I do the, the web here. And I flip it over and do the same thing. That. 
So that's pretty, in theory, it should break on this, on our line now. Like that. And there you have it. Didn't come out bad. Mud up both sides of this. We'll joint that up a little bit and uh, I gotta find a better spot to put this camera here at all. you what I was going on here so the bottom of that you can see they didn't pour any concrete here so and the and that edge of it is it's sloped this way down into this so I got to build this edge up here by about an inch and I'm gonna say two inches probably so this isn't like super structural here or anything this is just for looks and to hold up that a little bit and uh, so we're not gonna worry about it too much what we're gonna do is put a little mud down in here these brick chips and concrete chips we got. I apologize for the lighting here this is less than ideal even though just working you can't see a damn thing so these brick will suck up the moisture out of that uh, mortar to make it so that give us something to go to here so that's uh, I'll let that set up for a second uh, I need 
I say ten inches or something like that? I got ten and a half there, so I need like a nine and a half inch piece to get it in there. I believe. This one here, what we could be left with is 11 something, 11 and a, 11 and a half, 11 and three quarters. So we're gonna have to take it out of another one. Uh, well maybe not. Maybe we can get nine and a half, nine and a half. We'll try it here. See if we can snap this off very right close. Right there. Sometimes it'll go. Sometimes not. Shim, shim this edge of the block up with some brick, more brick pieces. So it doesn't sink out of sight on us here. Take some chunks, chunks of stuff, and fill this gap. And now we'll parge it with. Once I get this up, maybe I'll come back tomorrow. Well, I'll be here tomorrow anyway. But I'll like to pull this beam, this post that's here, and uh, get in there and mud that edge up. And maybe I can do it today, but we'll see. Kind of fill this up as we go so we have something to barge to.
I'm gonna put a little more water in my mortar here because uh, I mixed the mud up a little stiff there because I knew I was gonna have to deal with this whole edge uh, you know where the base is not level the floor is not level so I was gonna have to build it up on one side so I made it a little stiff so it doesn't slump out so much but uh, to sink this one down too because we're way high over here. So we're gonna let this one go down. Let's see if find a corner block here. See this? I'm tapping on this. I can't see it. You can see that edge chipped off here. It's Home Depot block. There, they just don't take a. You should be able to pound on that even with the face of the hammer, and not really have that happen. I was using the end, plastic, plastic end. So they're 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 just not the same quality as the uh, as the other place I get them, but. Uh, you know, I mean, they meet the whatever ASTM specs, but that's about it. ways you can spread mud. You can spread it, you get a little uh, thin little roll of it on your trowel, put it on there, do that over and over, which sometimes I like to do. The other way to do it, and uh, I'm not going to do it this way because I still want to kind of build this up and you can get a little better build up with this, but but uh, the other way to do it, if you're really building something out of, you know, something big and not screwing around with something little like this, uh, get a good load on your trowel like that. This mud's actually still a little too stiff for this, but but uh, get a good load on your trowel. Go right down through there, just like that. You see that? Get a load on your trowel. Like that. See how this is. This is this is what I mean by it's too stiff still. So you have 
the huge amount came off here, nothing came off there. Uh, it's inconsistent it's cause, just because the mud's stiff, you know, it needs a little more water in it. But the problem with more water is you lose your ability for it to support the block uh, the, the block that's going to be laid. And, uh, you know, like I said, I'm trying to gain over here and shrink over here. So um, I don't really want to spread it that way. I'm going to do it the old way. But that is a way you can do it. And we get on a different job here some, sometime. I'll show, I'll do a video on how to really lay block to a line and uh, you know like if you're doing a wall or something um, something big you know foundation wall base for a base for a fireplace like that uh, you don't want to be screwing around with a level trying to do that you just build your leads which is the corners <clears throat> and then uh, run a line and lay your block to a line so we'll do one on that at some point here we gotta wait for one of those come along again so the old here roly poly way here. So that would have been that piece there. So you can already see, this is what I'm talking about, the quality of these blocks. See this? It's already got hairline cracks in it from not being compacted wood. Um, when they, and during the manufacturing process, what they do is basically take the mix with just enough water to uh, to get, uh, it's very dry, it's just enough water to kind of activate the Portland cement in there. Um, so, you know, with, with, with little aggregate and, and uh, little sand and everything, so it's very dry, it's like crumbly mix. Um, they put it in a form, they compress it, and then they steam them. They pull the form off and then steam it, uh, you know, and that cures it and uh, gives it a little extra moisture. But if they don't compact it right, <clears throat> or if the mix is too dry, whatever, you get this right here. And you get these cracks like this. So we're going to try and break this one. It might break where we want it to and and uh, it might not.
So that's the process here. Uh, you know, I'll show you how to join here quick. Make a little mud on your trowel. Like that. Just like that. You wanna, you wanna, doesn't matter if you hold the trowel this way, that way, whatever. If your mud's good, you should be able to do that right there. Right upside down and have not have it go anywhere. But get a get a uh, little curl just on your joiner like that. I kind of push down into the trowel, open the joiner like this, push down into the trowel, cut and turn and rotate the like that. You get some on it. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm not out. I don't. I don't need to go out there. No. Just get my mud, but other than that, I'm good. You're good. good. Yeah. Okay. You hungry? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know what time it is. What is it? What is it? It's probably noon by now. Huh? Ten one. No. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. It is. Okay. Yeah. Well, you're you gonna run up the store for me, or? Yeah. 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 Nice. What do you want? Mm, not turkey. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, roast beef. Yeah. Take a ham. ham? ham? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ham? Yeah, the huge. Yeah, yeah, and just ham. Yeah. Mo no mayo, mayo, mayo mustard. No, I like tomatoes. Dave doesn't like Oh, but you like onion? You don't like onion. No onion. No onion. No onion. <laughs> no. Yeah, ham cheddar, whatever. Yeah, yeah. ham cheddar. Okay. Yeah. All right, I'll do that. Thank you. Awesome. You want an espresso? No. <laughs> I was a little tired. I don't know. I don't need to. Do you, you want to know what happened to me last night? I, left, I, went, up to, I went up to the house, took a bath. Went downstairs, turned on the TV. I don't turn the TV on ever. Yeah. I fell asleep for an hour and a half. I, yeah. I was like, it's 6 o'clock. Oh, yeah. I was yeah, 6 yeah. to 7.30. I called my brother Todd. I said, Todd, I'm so sorry. I missed the Zoom call. He said, no, it's happening at 8. <laughs> <laughs> it's just in time. <laughs> I said, well, perfect. Well, yeah, I know. I was really tired. Yeah. Yeah, some days. I was tired. I went to bed. I freaking couldn't fall asleep. Late, oh. late, it was like one something by the time I, the last time I looked at the clock. You know, uh, oh, I was rolling. I hate that. that. Yeah. But uh, I'm doing all right today. No espresso yet. Okay. All right. <laughs> Thank you, though. All right. I'll, be, I'll get back down there, too. Yeah. The raspberry tea? Yeah, please. Yeah. My friend's house here that we're working at. So we get uh, extra nice treatment here. We did get us lunch and all that every day. Very, very good people, and uh, and uh, I've had a few jobs over the years like that. Where this is one one guy I worked for. I forget where he was from. Uh, some European country and. Uh, he would bring out a big bowl of fresh vegetables and fruit and everything. They made us uh, some kind of waffle every morning. Well, it's good. You get you get a few jobs like that every over the years, but most people just want you to get the job done and uh, get out. And they don't really have to, they don't want to talk or hang out or socialize or anything. And that's totally fine. But. Uh, but every once in a while I get a good job, and those are the people you gotta take care of. Because they're taking care of you. Works both ways.
Yeah, there you go. So anyway, I'm gonna run this up. This, this is, you know, probably more more or less boring for you, but uh, maybe you learned a few little things how to how to joint and uh, how to lay a block and uh, whatever. And uh, maybe I'll turn the camera back on when we get up top, and I'll show you how to shim a cap. Uh, show you how to shim up those cap blocks when we get up to the top. So hope everybody's good, and we'll catch you later. Bye. Oh, there it is. I didn't, uh, I didn't film the actual putting the caps in. Uh, I was just on a roll and went for it. And uh, so there, I had to cut them down, cut those couple down, cut some of that one down, and that to get them in. It was rock varies in thickness here, but uh, you had a little, a little cubby there that they wanted to store a broom or who knows what in there. So that's that. Just a little block job. We'll see ya.